Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World. Today I would like to talk about the science officer and what he can do for you. So first, how do you get a science officer? Well, you basically, um, first of all, you need crew compartments in your ship. So if you go to your shipyard, uh, you can click on frame config and then you can uh, click on crew member. So if you have space for one crew member, you can already hire him because apparently you don't count as a crew member. Um, and once you've done that, you can go to the crew management. There you can hire crew members and at the moment nobody is for hire here, but you can basically see what they do and um, if they're like an engineer or a science officer, for example, how loyal they are, what their skill is and what their pay is. Then once you hire them, then they are your current crew member and you can see its stats and you, uh, their salary. One thing you have to be aware of is that um, you have to open this crew management console fairly often because they do demand more and more wage and you can basically decide how much wage they get. But if they don't get enough, they might leave you at some point. Uh, so make sure that sometimes to go back to the crew management console in order to uh, adjust your pay otherwise you might lose your officer at some point anyway so now we have the science officer so what does he do well the science officer basically tells us first of all if we're somewhere where there might be interesting things to find such as um, uh, crates but he can also tell us where there might for example be an asteroid belt or something this is not very amazing in the explored places because you already know where the asteroid belts are but if you're in an unexplored space this might be kind of nice but today i would like to show you how you can use the science officer in order to find um, crates so let's uh, jump to a system uh, the problem is that the science officer only tells you once every jump into a system where stuff is so if i jump from here into this sector then he will tell me "Ooh, there might be a crate somewhere uh, but then if i jump from here there he won't tell me anymore so you have to jump out again and then in again so let's see how that works all right let's see if we can find one of those things for the science officer so basically i'll just jump into this system here because i remember the science officers had something to me about a place so let's jump into this place here And the science officer says that there is a container detected in this sector heading 6, pitch 16. So that's kind of uh, this heading. And on the map, let's see, it's over there-ish. So kind of somewhere on this line might be a container. So now we need to jump out of the system again. Otherwise, he doesn't seem to repeat his, um, his information. So we basically just... Uh, oh, um where did i do that center no set location yes this one i'll just add it as adding six so now it should be added to my map yes so now i'll just jump out of the system again So now basically whenever I hover over here, I should be able to see what it's set. Yeah, heading six. So that's kind of that way, almost exactly north really. So now I just need to wait until my energy is restored again so I can jump again. And now I kind of want to know where on this line is it. So if I jump, let's say here, then it will kind of give me another heading. There we go. Heading 162 pitch 5. 162. 90. 150. About this. 
So I can zoom into the map again. So basically this one was heading six and this one is pointing all the way down. So somewhere here might actually be where it is. So I will first go back to the normal map and I will say um, at set location, add to log. I always forget. Probably. Oop. And now I added that thing. So I will jump there. No, let's first jump out of the system in case we were wrong. I never know for sure. Although I guess we could go there and then basically put down a sensor station and we should be able to find it. Now we just have to wait until we can use our drive again while I put in the coordinates of where we want to jump, which was about there. And as you saw, I haven't really looked at pitch yet um, because it also gives you a pitch, which is basically um, this line, like how high or low it is at it. All right, let's jump. Container detected in this sector, heading 8. Heading 8. Pitch 29. So it should be somewhere there. Um, so I could either fly, but I think I'll try to put down a sensor station first, which I'm actually not allowed to, I see now. Okay, then I'll just fly for a bit. Yeah, the problem is you have to put sensor stations within this area. So there's basically nowhere I can really put it, unless I would put it like here. No, that's also not allowed. This would be though. Maybe that would have enough range. I'll just jump there and build one. There we go. And now we see that we were not that far off. It's actually there. Uh, let's zoom the map again. So basically, I thought it was here from my two very badly <laughs> interpreted headings, but it was actually a bit more uh, to the northern heading. So let's see if we can uh, go there. Let's hope he has something interesting. And now I see that purple thing on my map there. And basically now it says it's just a purple circle, so it's not very close by. Uh, once there's like a cross, now it's getting closer. And if there's three dashes, it's actually quite close. I'll just put on my low light vision. There it is. I can see it now. So sometimes these things look like a sensor station. Then you just need to touch them and then you get some data. Uh, this one I think I just have to mine. Let's just touch it anyway. Let's see what happens. Yeah, nothing happens. So I'll just mine it. And it contains food. 
So in this case, not that interesting. Last time I actually uh, got, um, you might remember from my sensor station thing that I got the anti-missile system. Last time from the science officer, I got um, to a sensor probe that basically gave me the recipe for anti-missile system. So yeah, these things can be very worth it. They do cost a bit of time to find because you have to do a bit of triangulation or just plumb down a sensor station and you find them more easily. So that's what the science officer can do for you. So I hope you found this video useful and see you next time.